Yo, what was in YouTube's? Um, it's fucking early, mate. It's not even five o'clock yet. But we've got a we've got our longest run to date this prep. Until a run coming. So last week we done what eighteen k with uh, with Mo Bear. So a slight progression on that. Would take us up to, to that two hour mark. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna crank this out first thing in the morning. So, we're having 75 grams of cereal. We've got um, big ass coffee with um, around 20 grams of, of honey. And then this fizzly fucking mess is a uh, electrolytes and a vitamin C tablet. <coughs> um, I'm probably going to take, what, three gels with me. So what would that be? 66 grams of carbs. That should be enough. That should be enough to to get me through the two-hour mark. Yeah, and then um, take my camel pack and I'll fill it up with maybe two litres of water or something. I should need more than that. But yeah, mate, exciting times. Legs are a bit in the bin from uh, yesterday's deadlifts. We hit 170 for two, 155 for five on deadlifts yesterday. Just need to rain deadlifts in a little bit in terms of not send it too early. I've not deadlifted for fucking ages, so I need to respect that. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with where strength's at, man. Very happy with where strength's at. Anyway, I'm going to eat my cereal before it turns into soggy mush. I might pick you up during the run. I probably will, yeah. Because I'll get lonely because it's a fucking two hour run. So chat to you then. <coughs> Yo, what was I saying? <coughs> We're about, I don't know, 30, 30 minutes in. Okay. Oh, so peaceful, man. So peaceful. Um, digestive issues. Um, Stomach's not feeling all that great, to be honest. I just handled too much food, too much water, and too much caffeine, <laughs> all in a short space of time. So, it's good to get that information now. So come longer sessions, slash, come race day, we understand. <laughs> but to do that again. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go an hour out. And then we're back. Let's see if I can get 30 minutes this way. Not 100% sure. <laughs> Yo! 55 minutes in now. Um, those digestive issues <laughs> less than ideal. <laughs> I'm needing the poop. And the thing is, we're running this early. Nothing's fucking open. There's no public toilets open. There's no shops. Pray for me. Me. It's a bit windy, but just under 115. Uh, in two gels down. Stomach's holding up. It's holding up. But we've obviously still got about 48 minutes left. 47 minutes left. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully it holds up. We're holding. I don't know. I think on average we'll be about. 5.30, a calmer pace I think, I'm not too sure, not really paying attention to the watch, just going off a feel, um, I feel great, I feel fucking great mate, so we should get 13, 14 mile in, hell yeah. <coughs> ah. 
Right. Come straight now. Gel's done. Holding the shape, which is good. <laughs> uh, what a run. What a run. Yo, what's happening? It's now Friday, mate. Um, so I switched my long run, my bodybuilding session around um, just because I knew today was going to be a really, really busy work day. Um, and I didn't want I didn't want to then have to um, have to be running a fucking twenty two kilometer run um, after you know, six seven eight hours of work um, this morning. So swapped that around, um, and I was meant to film today, but got to the gym around three o'clock, which is quite late for me, um, and the the gym was mobbed, so I didn't want to be filming. Um, but, but I do want to uh, talk about something because I've been having a few conversations re lately about people with, in regards to their training for like, high rocks um, or for half marathons or marathons, um, and the most common uh, issue that I'm finding through these conversations is them not really sticking to the guidelines of you know what a recovery run is what a, a long run kind of zone two zone three run is what a threshold run is um not really splitting up um the different type of runs like speed work threshold runs um intervals zone two recovery runs and they're just kind of just you know going about the running running the same pace the same distance all the time like if your goal is to improve at high rocks, if your goal was to improve your half marathon time, your 10k time, your marathon time, then we need to be taking advantage of, you know, different effort sessions, um, different volume sessions, and sticking within those guidelines. 10k's, 5k's, half marathons, even marathons, I believe you should still be doing some speed work, 100% you should be, there 100% should be some threshold runs in there. You should be long zone two slash zone three uh, runs in there, and there needs to be some recovery runs in there. There needs to be. Your recovery runs aren't just a shorter run than your long runs or your threshold runs. It's not a, just a two to three k whatever pace you feel like run. Your recovery runs are used to accumulate miles to build up volume but at a lot less intense effort than what like your long run would be, your threshold runs would be. It's a lot less effort, but it's a great way of just improving and get, uh, improving aerobic capacity and clocking up some miles as well without the added fatigue of a threshold session or a zone two session, for example, like a long run session, for example, or like a race day pace uh, session. We need to understand the um, the intention and the stimulus that you're trying to create with each different type of run. You're not going to be running at your best 10k half marathon or marathon run if you're just constantly doing long uh, like long runs at the same pace when you're always breathing out your arse and not sticking to you know your aerobic range. We need to understand that. So that means you need to run seven, seven and a half minutes a kilometer and um, to begin with, and that's what you do. Um, I'll run my long runs um, at five to five twenty, and then my recovery runs at like six to six ten. There's a big difference there, but then my threshold pace is you know four ten to four twenty, depending on the duration of it. So you need to understand um, your capabilities um, as an endurance athlete or someone who's wanting to improve their running um, abilities and skill set. We need to understand that. We can't just be going out and trying to send every single 8, 9, 10k run that you do and get a couple of likes on Instagram. Like Nobody cares how long, or sorry, how quick your long runs are or your zone 2 runs are. Nobody gives a fuck. 
everyone cares a fuck about what marathon time that you set or what half marathon time you set so just understand that know the difference if you're struggling with you know improving your running ability then this is what I do for a living I'm pretty fucking good at it so if you want any advice or any sort of guidelines I will stick my Instagram in the description below so you can follow and if you want any sort of specific help to yourself then just drop me a message I'm always happy to to help aspiring athletes or even just experienced athletes get a lot fucking better it's what we do inside the performance academy so yeah anyway I'll, uh, I'll probably pick you up on Monday uh, sorry Sunday um, we're watching rugby tomorrow watching Scotland can be this way we're watching Scotland whoop England's ass tomorrow at the rugby so it's a rest day for me and we're back in for I think, lower body strength and speed on Sunday so I'll catch up with you then Oh ah, mate it's my cockney impression Oh ah, mate anyway we're in for squats on today's agenda we are hitting a top set of one rep um, at around nine nine and a half effort um, so this is um, this is what I originally programmed so this is 140 for a single um, and as you're about to see they move pretty well they move pretty well indeed big brace shrink it I'm happy with that I'm happy with how well it moved um, I'm not really happy with the dip um, the dip was a little bit shite if I'm being honest with myself but what it is what it is um, I then went up 10 kilo to 150 which I've not had on my back since the low bar squat days I'm not too sure if this is like an actual high bar PR I'm not confident that it, it is but you know it's the heaviest I've squatted in a while um, again not really happy with depth but that's probably like a 9.758 out of 10 effort um, so slightly over where it needed to be but you know what I'm happy that I went for it and uh, it built up the confidence in my squat but I'm going to be honest with you I fucked my back if you watch that, that clip back my hips shift yeah. over to the right and I've kind of hurt my right hand side of my lower back so that's not great so we decided to cut the back down sets short and the reverse lunges short and I just added more volume to sled push because this wasn't really hurting my back at all um, and then I did get on the treadmill after it but my back started to tighten up so I wasn't really sprinting I just did 20 minutes um, at a slightly reduced threshold pace slightly slower than threshold pace it was very very boring running on a treadmill for 20 minutes with no music or nothing to watch is torture it is actually torture but that's how the lower body session went so yeah no injury right now, which ain't great ain't great at all Session done. Got eight more sessions of this block and then this reduced volume block. We we'll just pulled in the volume on the runs and strength. Um so to keep the intensity. It's a lot high, but yeah, just reduce that volume. But yeah. Moving well man, I'm happy with the uh, happy with the overall kind of progression over the last two blocks. I just feel fantastic, I'm feeling fit, I'm feeling strong. Um, so yeah, I know it's only like a, a general physical preparedness, actually, pause this. Look at the view. Beautiful. And we're only gonna go out there. Um, but yeah, I know this is only like a, a general physical preparedness phase, but we're starting off well. Obviously, as we get into like our base building phase and our build, um, our build phases and things like that, things will ramp up and will really, really test, um, test the legs in terms of run volume. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So, seeing this to the the misses the other day, um, I had like 
massive runner's high um, the other day on that 22 kilometer. Like, I fucking loved it. And I honestly think, um, I honestly think I'll enjoy this ultra prep. I'm saying that now, people who potentially watch this and uh, and do ultras will be like, it's your first one, <laughs> calm down. But um, I honestly think I will enjoy this. I really, really do. I'm prepared for it. I'm preparing for it to to um, demand my standards to raise and my productivity, my mindset to all improve. I'm ready for it, but I guess that's why we're, we're doing these big, big challenges, isn't it? To, to develop and grow and, and just get better, not only as an athlete, but just as an overall person as well as a man. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here, mate. Um, and then, uh, I'll probably pick you up in the next day or two. We've got a threshold run tomorrow. 22, 22 minute threshold effort tomorrow. Um, followed by upper body strength, so bench. I might pick you up for that one. See what I can uh, hit for one rep on the bench. And um, yeah, other than that, thanks so much for tuning in. Catch you in the next one.